So hello guys, welcome back to another video of Marlon Chip Barn. And today we're gonna be drawing a combined artwork, which a combined fan art, which will be mixing which today I'll be mixing up Zdanov's Russia ro a robot, like you know, I was drawing like suits and like a soldier in a robotic suit from Zdanov's United Soviet Federation, I believe it's called. Yeah, it is called like that. From TNO The Last Days of Europe, which if you watched my other videos and my other content, I really, really like Zdanov's Russia and TNO in general as a community, as everything. And I'll be combining it with the sort of uh, robots that you would see from Atomic Heart. Yeah, guys. This is the new game that will be coming out this September 2022. I hope, I hope, I hope, I, I hope that it will be come out very, very soon. And it will not be delayed billions of times like Cyberpunk 2077, which also I was waiting for and was quite disappointed because it, was, it came out looking like a, a buggy, a buggy piece of trash. But I mean... It was just the graphics, like the storyline of Cyberpunk 2077. It was good. I, I, like, I didn't play it because I did not want to buy it, like, in a buggy state. And I'm still waiting for it to be fixed. Like, I did not play the game, but I believe that it was pretty good. And so, but the thing is, what makes Atomic Heart special, like, especially, wait, it's about the Soviet Union. The technocratic Soviet Union. And you know what that reminds me of? You know what that reminds me of, am I right? <laughs> yeah. It's, it is Zhdanov's Russia, but in real life. Yeah, boys. That's why it makes it so much sense to combine. Like, they have, like, the robots and Atomic Card are, like, grotesque with, like, loads of eyes and light bulbs and like clenchers clenchies like stuff coming out of them it's gonna be awesome so yeah without any further ado let's get right into it